Hello everybody, this is Windows and PC Windows Online. Uh, welcome to the video. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to um, install a quick version and how to install you onto onto your um, onto your hard drive. So first, what you need is what they recommend on the site is you need a disc with it on. So just one disc. Um, it can be a CD or a DVD. Um, most of the CDs are cheaper than DVDs, but um, if you want to buy a DVD, then you can. You can do that. So you are wondering how you get get the ISO file which you downloaded off and the Ubuntu Software Center onto um, the disk. What you use is called Power ISO. Um, which will be in the description and that's how you burn um, the ISO file to a CD so that's the first thing you need to do so that's step one step two is oh you have loads of um, step two is if you can't do that into a CD if you can't do it and you've not got a CD drive and you can't do it um, you can also have another ways of getting around it if you've got um, a USB drive, if you can use that, it's got to be more than one gig, I think, of RAM. You can use that, or you can uh, download it onto your PC uh, with a program. Um, all of the links will be in the description, and you can look in the description to find out more about different ways of installing it onto your computer. So, when you Step three. If this is step three now, if you put your CD and USB into the drive, one or the other, um, you'll be coming up with this screen, which you can see right now, which is on on my virtual machine. Um, this is like the welcome center of it, and it shows you what to do. So it just says welcome. Um, what you can also do. If you don't really know Ubuntu that well and you want to get to know it better and if you want to see what it's like, then you can try Ubuntu from the CD live. But there's a problem with this, you cannot um, go back to it and you've saved files on there, but then when you go back to it, they will not be there because they can't save on the CD. Um, so that's a problem with that. But if you really do like Ubuntu and you want it to be your main um, your main operating system, you can click on the start of Ubuntu, um, which I am going to do now. So you just click install Ubuntu, and you will be prompted with another window coming up in a minute, which will ask you about some more questions and I will walk you through it. So I'm just going to pause this video for now um, and I will see you in a minute. Hello, I'm back again. Um, so it's gone through all the stages of um, checking the system and everything and you come to the uh, welcome page and then you click you want to install um, a full, uh, full version of it. Um, not do it from a live CD. So you come up to this window and it will just give you a check system on what, you, what you're doing so, um, for the best results. Please ensure that this, this is the computer. So you have at least four uh, megabyte uh, available on the drive say so it's four, not be four point four gigabyte on your USB stick. Um, it's plugged into the power source, so that means that it's in um, the electrics and it's not running off the battery of your laptop. And is it connected to internet? Mostly it isn't, but if you've got an internet cable, then it will work. Um, I wouldn't recommend downloading updates while installing, but the thing I would up um, tell you to do is install third, third party software. This means like MP3 codecs and stuff what runs your video and uh, third party software which will help it run better. So you press forward 
I'm going to pause the video again so the video doesn't upload. I will see you in a minute. So we come to this after that um, just bit we just had. You come to this and it says allocated drive space. So usually when you put the CD into an actual computer, because I'm using the um, virtual drive, it just it just wants me to install the operating system on the hard drive because I've got nothing else on there. Um, with your computer, you probably have Mac or Windows um, in, um, operating system already on there. It will tell you this and it will say, you've already got this on, do you want, it? Do you want to install it by side by side? If you really don't want Windows on Mac that much and you just want to wipe the whole, uh, whole hard drive out and you want to just install um, you, the Ubuntu software, uh, so, um, uh, um, operating system just on your computer, then you can do that. Um, so I'm going to do that because I am on a virtual drive. So this is when the part when if you had Windows installed and you wanted to separate them out, you wanted one to be one little bit to be Windows and another one a little bit to be Ubuntu. You can do that. Um, it's not hard to do. I mean, it'll just take you a few few steps on on the bit here. Um, what happens when you do this is when you boot up when you finish this installation, when you boot up in the BIOS system, not in the BIOS, yeah, in the BIOS system, it comes up and you have to click, you have to scroll down on your key, um, your keys, and it says Windows 7 or Ubuntu, and then you can pick which operating system you want to boot from. So that's really cool. Um, but if you want to just wipe the whole system, then you press install now. I will pause this video again just because I don't want it to over. This is the bit where you get up to um, saving all your settings and saving all your settings in the Ubuntu. It also, when it does this, it's still um, installing the operating system uh, on your hard drive, so it doesn't affect, it, affect anything, and you just need to choose your settings. So I leave them running in, that's true and click forward. Sometimes it doesn't pick up where you live because you've not got the internet so you just have to pick it yourself by clicking on the map where you actually live. It's not that hard. We just make it uh, let it a little bit. It won't be this slow on your computer, it's just because I'm um, um, running this on a virtual machine. Now you pick your keyboard layout. Um, as you see, I will live in United Kingdom, so I would pick that. It already takes what keyboard you got because you have selected where you live. So that's probably a nice feature, which you don't have to go through all the countries and find your keyboard. Now you get to pick your username. Um, Stand for PC Windows Online. Um, in Ubuntu, you always have to pick a password, and um, you can't get away from that. So I'm just going to put a simple password in, not always. And you can change when you get onto the um, the login screen. You can change if you just want to uh, log in automatically, or you want to. Uh, um, have a password there so nobody can into it. So I'm just going to click login automatically. Forward. So there we go. We set up all our um, settings and everything. I think I'll leave you here now because there's not much else you do need to do in Ubuntu. Um, I think you'll like Ubuntu if you're a new. Um, person who's using it. Um, what will happen now is a slideshow will go through and show you all the features of Ubuntu which is helpful for new um, timers who don't know much about Ubuntu. So thank you for watching this video again. This has been PC Windows Online. 
and remember to rate, uh, comment and subscribe to all my videos um, and if you need any help just send me a message through YouTube. Thank you for watching.